It's the most wonderful time of the year. Grass seed is falling and fertilizer working and grass is real green. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Let's talk about the seeding and overseeding pack. I've spent a lot of time over the last week or so talking about the fall months and what's going on in the lawn this time of year, whether you have warm season grass or cool season grass, you're the warm season zone, the cool season zone, or like me in the transition zone. Lots of things are going on all over the country. In this video, we want to specifically talk about if you are doing a seeding project on your lawn. I realize I have the wrong fertilizer out there. Got it. Here we go. Green pulp. Green kind of fertilizer has a seed and overseed pack. It comes with three fertilizers and one bottle of RGS. And basically those three fertilizers in that bottle of RGS is gonna get your seed from the germination phase all the way through that last application of the season. Now, if you have already done your seeding or you're not doing a seeding project at all this fall and you have a cool season lawn, I actually released a video already talking about what you should be doing and what you should be focusing on this time of year. I'm gonna link to that down below. And if you have warm season grass, you can still watch this video, but if you have a warm season lawn, especially if you're in the transition zone like I am and like I have Bermuda in the backyard, what you should be focusing on this time of year as the season is winding down. But I'm gonna link to those videos down below for you to check out. This video is specifically talking about if you're doing a seeding project on your lawn. The seeding and overseeding pack comes with three fertilizers because there are three phases or three applications that you're gonna do with this pack. On day zero or seed day, you wanna go with 12 ounces per thousand of 16212 green pop. That is our seed starter, that is the seed cracker, that's gonna get germination started and get those roots diving down deep with that 21% phosphorus. Now I know the top growth is what we all care about, we wanna see that grass seed germinating, but maybe there's nothing going on above the surface, but below the surface, that seed is starting to get its root development on, and that's what's important. I experienced that when I did my full renovation here at my house. The top growth wasn't going as well as I had hoped, but as I saw as the next season started, the root zone was doing really, really well. Nice, deep, thick roots because I didn't have a whole lot of die off coming out of the winter, even though the top growth what didn't really do that well because of some watering issues that I had. So we really are focusing on the roots more so than the top growth during this early phase. Along with the green pop, you're gonna do three ounces per thousand of RGS, the root growth stimulant, as that also, as the name suggests, it's gonna help focus on root growth, root development, getting those roots, roots diving down deep and getting nice and thick. We like our roots thick. It's really recommended that you use a hose end sprayer if at all possible because you're getting the proper dilution rate on that application. If you're gonna use a backpack sprayer, you wanna water it in right away. Don't do this on a hot day because sometimes here in the fall, you know, you'll have really nice days in the 70s, but you can still hit those mid to upper 80s if you're not careful. So you don't want this application drying on your grass seed. That will hurt germination. So you wanna, if at all possible, not use a backpack sprayer, but if you have to, water it in immediately. Now 21 days after that first application of green pop, come back with green start. It's a 901 analysis. What this is focusing on is you are still gonna get some top growth with that 9% nitrogen, but also it is continuing to feed that root zone and getting those roots to get nice and thick. You want that root zone established before you get into the winter and you start to have those frosts and freezes but you still are getting that top growth, but it's keeping it at a steady rate. You're not gonna get this bum rush of top growth, which can cause stress on these little baby plants. So you're getting a nice steady growth on top, but you're also letting that root zone develop because that is the key. Make that clear. The root zone is the key with baby grass, not so much the top growth. Along with that 12 ounces per thousand of green start, you wanna do three ounces per thousand of RGS.
Lastly, at day 42, this is 42 days after your first application, 21 days after the second application, you wanna do 12 to 15 ounces of green punch. This is gonna essentially be your last application of fertilizer for the season. So if you're doing a general overseed on your lawn, this is actually gonna feed the existing turf as well, but it's also feeding that baby grass. If you are doing a full renovation, this is that last application of the season because it is gonna to continue to feed that baby grass. So you will continue to get that little bit of top growth, top growth, nice and steady, which is the key, but it's also gonna start storing that nitrogen as you're gonna go into the cold winter months because you want that baby grass to be able to get through those frosts, those freezes. And so when it gets into the springtime, it's gonna come out of it looking fantastic and be nice and healthy. As always, three ounces of RGS is gonna go down with this application. Now, if you have the time and you're feeling a little froggy, I go ahead and recommend apply the rest of the biostims as well at a lower rate with each application. So at day zero, because I've aerated my lawn, I'm gonna go ahead and do the aerate, the microgreen, and the humic 12 to get that into the little core holes that I made when I did my mechanical aeration to start feeding that soil and open that soil up for those baby roots to have a nice, easy time diving down and have the space to get nice and thick. So I do three ounces per thousand with every application in the seed and overseed pack of the biostimulants. That is it for the seed and overseed pack. It's very simple. Yes, there are lots of steps. A lot of times when you're gonna find your starter fertilizer from any other place, it is one application and you're punching it in the face right there at the beginning, which is fine because it's gonna have a lot of nitrogen, it's gonna have a lot of phosphorus, sometimes it has a lot of potassium, sometimes it just has a little bit, but either way, the first two numbers in your bag of fertilizer, your nitrogen and phosphorus is gonna have a lot, but then you just kinda sit there and let the grass do what it wants to do, where with the seeding and overseeding pack, you're feeding the lawn every 21 days. It's gonna get a nice steady dose of fertilizer, which is gonna keep the top growth coming. Slow and steady wins the race, but it's also gonna feed the roots to start developing, diving down, getting nice and thick, because that's the key. That one big dose of fertilizer you get at the front, that's fine there for the beginning, but what about as the season continues to go? Because you still have time in the fall to feed that lawn. And that's what the seeding and overseeding pack does. Slow and steady wins the race.